Hey guys, this is Justin with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm gonna to show you the right way to install graphics on your dirt bike. All right guys, so we all know that a fresh set of graphics makes our bikes look awesome, and it also makes us faster. Well, maybe it doesn't make us faster, but it makes us look faster. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how to install graphics on your dirt bike. Installing graphics for a lot of guys is really difficult at first if you've never done it before, but once you kinda of get the basic tips and tricks down, the process down, it becomes really easy and you can do them very quick. Now we sell a lot of different graphics for your motorcycle, ATV, and UTV. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a set of attack graphics, some custom graphics for this YZ250X. To do this job, we're gonna need a heat gun, some contact cleaner, rags, razor blade, scissors, and in some cases, you might want an application kit. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but this kit is from attack graphics. All right, so the first step, when installing graphics, and maybe the most important step, is to make sure the plastic is clean. Now, if you're putting your graphics on old plastic, of course you wanna make sure the old graphics are removed. Um, if there's any sticky stuff left, use some contact cleaner to get that off. I really like the PJ1 contact cleaner. It seems to work really well with graphics. And if you have scratches in your plastic, I like to use a razor blade and kind of run that over the plastic to get all the little scrapes and bumps out of the plastic. If you don't do that, you're gonna end up with bubbles and it's not gonna look very good. Now, even if you have brand new plastic like I'm going to be using today, new or old, you wanna clean it really good with contact cleaner. And the reason for that is because even new plastic's going to have a little bit of an oily film on it. Cleaning it with the contact cleaner is going to allow that graphic to stick really well. So once your plastics are clean, we can go ahead and install the graphics. One of the more difficult parts of installing graphics for a lot of people is getting the wrinkles out. And the reason you get wrinkles is because you're trying to apply a perfectly flat piece of vinyl to a piece of plastic that has all sorts of curves and contours to it. Now the vinyl will stretch and conform to those uh, curves and, and different shapes on your plastics in most cases, um, but you've gotta be able to do it right. You've gotta be able to push those wrinkles out correctly for that to happen, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, the first thing I'm going to do with this decal is I'm going to cut the paper backing out for all around the edge of the decal, and that's going to help me align the graphic on the number plate. All right, so now that I've got the backing paper trimmed from the edge of the graphic, I now want to cut a strip of that backing paper off the back of the decal right down the center of the graphic. And on number plates, I do that horizontally, and this is going to do two things for me. One, it's going to allow me to align the graphic on the number plate, and two, it's going to allow me to work the graphic on, starting from the center, and I can work any bubbles or wrinkles out toward the edge of the graphic. Now, it's important when you do this, you work those wrinkles out evenly. If you don't do it evenly, you're gonna end up with a big wrinkle in one spot that you're not gonna be able to work out. Okay, so now that I have my little strip cut out, I'm going to align this on the number plate. And it's a good idea to just kinda wrap the number plate around to make sure it is lining up with any holes or cutouts, as well as all the edges. Once I have it in a place that I'm happy with, I'll go ahead and stick it down where I had that cut out. Okay, once my center piece is put down, I'm going to start working the graphic on and I'm gonna start with the bottom. Now keep in mind, my cut of my paper kind of runs this way. It would have been a little bit better to stay below this bend and run across here, but that's okay, it's still gonna work. So I'm gonna flip it up grab the paper, take it off, and with one hand I'm gonna kinda of hold this off so it doesn't stick down and get ahead of me. And then I'm going to slowly, from the center, work this graphic on. So I'm just gonna run my finger back and forth from the center and work my way out. And this bottom piece, I don't think 
any wrinkles are going to appear, but if they do, I'll try to spread it out over a large area. So working it like this, you should be able to avoid getting any bubbles. And I have some tiny little wrinkles along the edge, but I think they'll be easy to push out. And there you go. So there's half the number plate. Now we can go ahead and work on the top half. So same thing, I'll just pull it back, get my paper out of the way. And again, hang on to it so it doesn't just start sticking. And then slowly work everything side to side as you're pushing it out. This part's gonna be the trickier part. This is where things are gonna wanna wrinkle a little bit. So that went on pretty good. So this graphic actually went on pretty good. I've got some slight wrinkles around the edges, um, but not a big deal. Now, because this piece of vinyl is getting pushed and pulled into you know, a different shape, I'm going to make sure it stays down nice by using a heat gun. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, a uh, blow dryer works as well. When you do this, it's most important to get the edges Typically, when a graphic wants to bubble or peel up, it's going to be around the edge, not in the center of the graphic. So I get it nice and warm. Then I can just kind of run my finger over it, make sure everything is pushed down nice. And I'll do that all around the edges of this number plate. With the shroud graphic, I'm going to do the same thing. I've got my strip cut out of the center. I'm going to align it on the shroud and then I will work it all on. All right, now a lot of people like to use application fluid to put on decals. I don't like to do that when the plastic I'm working on has a lot of curves and contours to it. But on flat surfaces like the swing arm, it works really well. Also on like ATV and UTV graphics, it works nice because you just spray it on the surface you're putting the sticker on, spray a little on the back side of the decal there as well. And this makes it so you don't have to or I guess so it's a lot easier to line up. You can move it around, it's not gonna stick right away. So we can line that up like so. And then it allows us to move it around. Once it's in place, we can use the squeegee and squeegee the fluid out from behind the decal there. So again, you know, if you have flat surfaces, um, swing arm, front number plate, UTV graphics, this works really nice. So once it's in place, you just let that dry for a little bit, then you come back and hit it with the heat gun. All right, guys, so that's how you install graphics on a motorcycle. Now, it doesn't matter if you're doing a number plate, rear fender, whatever, the technique is pretty much all the same. Make sure your plastic's clean, Work from the center and work those wrinkles out and then finish it off with a little heat to help them stick better. Your bike's gonna be looking like a million bucks. Now, check out our website for our graphic options, including our attack graphics where you can get customized graphics and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of different how-to videos, product spotlights, and bike builds. Thanks a lot for watching.